What's up, family? In recently released court records, prosecutors say one of Jam Master J's alleged killers asked him to put him on in the cocaine industry, shot Jay's nephew, possessed contraband cell phones in jail, and discussed with his co-defendant who might be snitching against them and other revelations. The records lay out a large portion of the case against Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Tenard Washington, who are accused of murdering Jam Master J in October 2002 over a dispute involving a large cocaine deal. The records allege that the defendants admitted guilt to each other and other uncharged co-conspirators that Jordan was identified by eyewitnesses to Jay's shooting. According to the records, roughly seven months after Jay's death, Jordan shot Jay's nephew in the leg on Hollis Avenue. He was arrested and charged, but the case fell apart after the victim refused to cooperate. A billboard article from the time identified the victim as Rodney Little D. Jones. Prosecutors say the motive was Jones recording a song that accused Jordan of murdering Jay. Additionally, the records allege that Jordan came to Jay with the request that Jay put him on in the cocaine industry and that Jay subsequently provided Jordan with a small quantity of cocaine to determine if Jordan could handle selling larger quantities. The motive for Jay's killing, according to prosecutors, was Jay cutting Washington out of the deal of 10 kilos of cocaine. Jordan, a rapper who used the stage name Young Yachty, was part of a group called Rich Fly G's, and prosecutors have requested to use some of his lyrics as evidence. In one song, for instance, he raps, We aim for the head, no body shots, and we stick around just to see the body drop. This request comes amid a national movement to limit or outright abolish the use of rap lyrics as evidence in criminal cases, including a recent law passed in California that restricts this practice. Washington, meanwhile, is described as a man with a reputation in Queens for possessing firearms, committing armed robberies, and engaging in narcotic trafficking, often as an enforcer or security for traffickers. Prosecutors allege he took Jordan under his wing after serving a 10-year prison sentence for robbery in Maryland. After the two were arrested and charged in 2020 with murdering Jay, they reportedly talked at a jail, sometimes by passing kites, about who might be cooperating with federal authorities. And get this fam, according to the records, in several recorded jail calls, Jordan referenced having contraband cell phones and asking people to text or FaceTime him. Let me tell you something. It is going to be very difficult to expect a jury to see things your way when your voice is on a recording admitting to your part in a crime. That's going to be very difficult to get around. I've heard people say, why would Jam Master J, a story DJ, you know, an iconic DJ, would run DMC, be involved in selling drugs, The same reason why a lot of people do it. Chasing that bag. Now, here go the thing. You know, trying to get that quick money. But here's the thing. That that money, that hip-hop money, it ain't what y'all think it is. It ain't what you think it is. Uh, especially if an artist is not touring. And keep in mind, Jam Master J was DJ. So, the way he eat is shows. He got to do shows and run DMC don't do a lot of shows. So they did a whole lot of shows back in the gap, but they 
don't and since Jay died, I don't think they 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 definitely haven't toured. So at least that not that I know of. So that's very difficult to get your bag up, to get your money and keep your money coming in. And I'm not saying uh, that's what he did, but if it is true that that's what it was about. No, nope, man, you know, <sighs> that damn game got that same spell on anybody who had it in the past or who might be, who might have a name that that's struggling financially that it would have on anybody in the streets. And as always, there's almost always at least two innings to how that go. Death or the penitentiary. If we are to believe the the records, what's written in the records, Jam Master J is dead. And old buddy, the dudes who they say killed him is going to be in prison for a long time. That's it. That, that dope game, man, that shit is played. If you're still selling dope today, it, let me tell you something, fam. It's so many ways to get money in America that you don't have to risk your freedom or your life to get the bag. Now you're gonna have to have some patience. That's the biggest thing that stop a lot of cats. They don't have patience. And so they end up compromising their health, their freedom, their manhood. Do you know that it takes 20 years for the average entrepreneur or investor to become a millionaire. Now I know a lot of people, 20 years, man, I ain't got 20 years. Uh, you got 20 years, you give, you give them people 20 years all the time. You got it, you got it. And 20 years really ain't that long, man. For all of you that are in your 40s and your 50s, tell them how fast them 20 years passed by. Let them know, think about that. I used to think 20 years, ooh, man, that's a long ass. I used to think a year was a long time. Like a year, man, I got to go do this for a whole year. Uh-uh, I ain't doing that. I remember I was uh, going to buy a McDonald's. Thinking about buying a McDonald's. Had all the research done, had the money ready, everything. And I thought about going out to Beaumont. This is Beaumont, Texas. They had their uh, training facility in Beaumont. And I was like, man, for six months, I got to go there and train for six months and be there every damn day and all those hours. And I'm and I'm just gonna be spending money and no money coming in, I ain't doing that. Man, I still kick myself for not doing that. You know, I don't really have the passion to do it now, but you know, I got other stuff going on. But, you know, man, that little old year, that would have been six months, little six months would have been nothing, man. I'd probably be sitting on 100, 200 McDonald's right now. Anyway, fam, Y'all drop a comment and let me know what y'all think about this story. R.I.P. Jam Master J. No more talk. What the haters talking about?